Hi, my name is Daniel Gutierrez, and I'm just a, a regular old dad. Uh, recently, I, I realized that I needed to have a conversation of, with my son about sex. And uh, I was just really concerned, so I went to the internet to look for information. And, and I was a little disappointed that a lot of the information that I found was usually women's perspectives. Not that that's bad. But I really wanted to know what a dad did. What did a dad do with his 10-year-old son? It just reminds me of the time he first started riding a bike. I mean, how proud I was of him and how fearful I was of him in his little helmet, his little tricycle or, or bicycle, and his training wheels. And he wanted to go fast and he kept falling. It just seemed like yesterday. And then today, now he's 10 years old, almost 11 and I wondered to myself, how would I ever, ever have this conversation with him? And so I looked on the internet, I learned some things, but I, I, I'm doing this video for all the dads out there and all the single mothers out there that need to know how to have a conversation from a regular old guy like me. I'm no doctor, I'm no therapist, I'm no psychologist, just a dad sitting down with his son to have a conversation. There's some things that we need to know before we even get started, and that is to have compassion. Really have compassion, not only for your son, but have compassion for yourself. When I was first introduced to sex, I got a book, a booklet, a booklet, and that was it. And I had to read it, and I never really understood it. So I learned about sex and drugs and alcohol and all those things from the streets. Understanding. This is not an easy subject for him either. He was just as comfortable as I was when we first started talking. But I got to tell you. Once we did, I was just as proud of us having that conversation as I was of him riding that bike. And then the last thing that, 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 that I thought was important was forgiveness. We dads need to forgive ourselves for not knowing the answers. We need to forgive ourselves for whatever um, is, is in the way of having that conversation for our son, not spending enough time, not being there, not watching his games. Not, it's okay. Just forgive yourself and show up. Show up and have this conversation with your sons and, and forgive them also because they, they're just learning. And, and when I, the first thing that went through my mind was compassion, understanding, and forgiveness. So once I had that kind of going, I thought, wow, what, what do I do now? And how do I start this conversation? So I began to listen for an opportunity to discuss sex with my son. And out of the blue, he says to me, hey, dad, check it out. I've got peach fuzz, and we laughed about it, and I thought, there's my opportunity. And so later on, uh, when we were relaxed and having fun, and just we just finished watching a movie, I said to him, hey, son, remember that peach fuzz you talked about? And uh, he says, yeah. And I showed no emotion whatsoever, good or bad. I said, what do you know about that? What do you know about the peach fuzz? And he says, well, I'm growing up and you know I'm going to have hair and um, and I said yeah yeah your body's changing and that opened up an opportunity for me to discuss things like masturbation and sex and growing hair and other topics things that I would have never had a conversation with him about because I didn't know how remember compassion understanding and forgiveness but I made it fun too I said wow imagine what you would look like with a mustache and he laughed and I laughed and it was great. And so then I started talking to him about the changes in his body and the, and the things that were going to be happening. And it was very important that we just had a very casual conversation. And I didn't really talk to him too much about what he didn't know. I just needed him to know that dad loved him and that no matter what changes were going on in his body, that he could come to me. And so at the, the very last thing we did is we implemented this, not game, but opportunity for us both called Five Minutes with Dad. And basically, any time he felt he needed to come talk to me, he could say, hey, Dad, I need five minutes. And that was my cue to drop whatever I'm doing, if it's the phone, if it's work, to stop and listen to him because he needed to talk. And so I said, son, you can come to me anytime. You can come to me when you need to talk about uh, girls and sex and drugs and bullying and alcohol, grades, sports, anything. I want you to come to me and I want you to know that I love you and I care about you. And I, I want to be the person that you come to when you're experiencing these things so that I can tell you my point of view. And you know what? 
that conversation became very easy at the end. He hugged me and he laid next to me and he said, I love you, Dad. And I said, I love you too, son. This is not an easy topic for us to, to have with our children. But dads, this is why a son needs a dad. So they can sit down with him and explain to them what's going on with their body. I now am excited about being able to teach him. Like I taught him to fish and I taught him to ride a bike. And I taught him to do many things. I can now teach him about the things that I had to learn about on my own. And that was worth the conversation. So I hope this helps you, one of you dads out there that will be looking for a video on how do I have that conversation. It really is much easier than I thought it was going to be. And I'm really glad that I did it. Thank you and, and good luck with your conversation.